Hi everybody, it's Catherine. My project today is the fourth project in the kit I am offering. Um, for the kit, all of the DSP sizes will be cut, all the geometric shapes. I cannot do any of the images. Um, you have to get this stamp set, which is not included. Uh, but any of the shapes I will send you. Um, I will also cut the cardstock if you would like me to. I will cut all the pieces out and attach a piece of tear and tape and then you can put it together how else you like on that. Um, I'm not sure of the price yet. I have to count out everything that I have to get, but um, it'll be five projects. And if, you would, if you're interested thinking about it, let me know because then I can kind of get a figure of who would like it. Okay, so Playful Ghosts again. This time I'm using the Stylish Shapes dies for this square. And the box opens like this. Now, if you don't want to put the ribbon, you can just put it in, but I like it with the ribbon. And inside I have a pack of jumbo gumballs. I have them in cats. Pumpkins and Frankenstein, I think. Let me see. Yes. Okay, so you would get one of these with your kit order. All right, so the box measures three by one and a half by one. And this is my host code. Please put that in for any purchases under 150, not including your shipping and tax. And we need a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock that is six by five and a half. So you can get two of these out of one sheet of cardstock, some basic white. We need this square from the used the st stylish shape styles. It's from Daffodil Delight, and it's about one and an eighth by one and an eighth. And then this time I'm using the Season of Green and Gold Designer Series paper. It's the Christmas one, but I love this plaid for Halloween. So it is two pieces that are one and a quarter by two and three quarters. Two pieces that are three quarters by two and three quarters. And we need three pieces that are one and a quarter by three quarter. Okay. All right, let me get my Simply Scored. And we're going to start on the six inch side. And you're going to score at one, four, and five. Turn it to the five and a half inch side and score at one, two and a half, three and a half, and five. Okay, now fold and burnish your score lines. Okay, so the half inch rectangle is over here. There is one one inch strip on the bottom and two on the top. And this is what we're going to be doing. All right, we're going to start over here. And we're going to go to the first score line, cut it to the first score line and wedge up. Okay, go to the next two score lines, cut them to the first score line and then wedge each side of the square. And then the next score line to the first score line and wedge the square. Okay, now turn it so that the half inch rectangle is on this side. And you're going to go to the first score line, cut it to the second score line, take off the bottom square and wedge both sides of the square that's left. Go to the next two score lines and cut them to the second score line take off the bottom square and wedge both sides of the square that's left. Okay, now we're gonna take these four pieces off and then we're gonna wedge up into that half inch rectangle. Okay, now you just want to round the corners of this top piece. And that's what your cardstock should look like when you're done. All right, now we're going to put some tear and tape on what's left of that half inch rectangle. 
take off the backing. Okay, flip it over, then flip over the side with the tape and the other side to meet it. So this is our back with the seam. So we're gonna close the bottom. Okay, and that's your box. Now we need our DSP. Since they're closed, the biggest pieces, which are one and a quarter by two and three quarter, are gonna go here and here. And the long sides are three quarter by two and three quarter. And we have three of the short sides, which is one and a quarter by three quarter. We're gonna take one of these and round the corners. And that rounded corner one is gonna go on this piece that we're gonna fold over here. Okay, and I'm just gonna put them all on with liquid glue. Now we're gonna do some stamping. So we need our square that I cut out with the style of shape dies, but it is one and an eighth by one and an eighth if you don't have those. And I'm gonna use tuxedo black ink and we're using the ghost with the pumpkin, but we're gonna cut that ghost right out of there. Okay. And I already fussy cut the two pieces. So I just cut the ghost right out of the middle. All right, so now we need some stamp and blends. I'm only using four light and dark pumpkin pie, dark daffodil delight, and dark old olive. With old olive, I'm gonna do the stem. And with Dark Daffodil Delight, I'm going to do the holes that make the face. And then with Light Pumpkin Pie, I'm going to do the side insides of the pumpkin there and there. And oops, this part of the top that's the flush of the pumpkin. Okay, and then all the rest I'm gonna do with dark pumpkin pie. Okay. All right, now we're gonna need to do our sentiment, which is gonna be trick or treat. I'm gonna drive it right in the middle. It's good. Okay. Now we need to put our gumballs in and close it. And we need some peach pie ribbon. And I'm gonna put it right. I can't tell which side is the right side. Okay. right around the long side and it's about I would say 19 inches in order to tie a decent bow and have room now I'm going to make sure that this is nice and straight and we're going to get some dimensionals and I'm going to put two on the pumpkin and then two okay I'm going to put dimensionals on the sides of my trick-or-treat sentiment I'm going to put it about a quarter inch above the bottom of the box and this way it will tack down the ribbon and also the sentiment. Okay, and then we're going to put the pumpkin 
right on top of that. And then I'm going to use two mini dimensionals for the hat. Well, the top of the pumpkin, actually. Try to get them not to show. Okay. I'm just going to cut off a piece that shows. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of put it like he's tipping his hat to the people who receives it. Just going to shove the dimensional in a little bit here that shows. It's better to just cut a piece off the edge. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, my email is below, along with the links to my blog and my shop. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.